Hi everyone. Now we have a new method which is called integration by partial fractions. We describe a method uh, to rewrite a fraction we do not know how to integrate into simpler fractions we know how to integrate. Consider now a rational function p of x over q of x p of x over q of x okay in which the degree of numerator is greater than degree of denominator we we'll consider several cases let's focus the case one suppose that denominator is a product of n distinct linear linear factors uh, like uh, a1x plus b1 a2x plus b2 a3x plus b3 and uh, finally a n x plus b n. If you have this case in denominator, then this rational function becomes the first coefficient over the first factor, the second coefficient over the second factor, and finally the last coefficient over the last factor. Here the aim is to find the coefficients a1, a2, a3 and a n. And this can be done by two ways. We will solve we will see these ways uh, when we solve the problems we will first uh, find the decomposition for some functions then we will integrate uh, the deco this new kind of functions okay as you see it is not so easy to differentiate this kind of functions but if we first find the decomposition then we will easily find the, the solution of the integral so what is the decomposition of this integral as you see we have three simple multiplications in denominator so it's possible to write it's possible to use case one so in this case x square minus x divided by denominator which is x minus 1 x plus 5 and x minus 3 is equal to a which is an arbitrary constant over x minus 1 plus b over x plus 5 plus c over the last factor x minus 3 if uh, we make the if we make denominators equal to each other it means if i multiply this term by x plus 5 x minus 3 this one by x minus 1 x minus 3 and finally the last one by x minus 1 x plus 5 x plus 5 okay then then x square x square minus x is equal to the parentheses of a we have the parentheses of a we have x plus 5 x minus 3 okay plus the parentheses of b we have x minus 1 x minus 3 and in the parentheses of c we have x minus 1 x plus 5 okay i think the f the easy way here is just to give some arbitrary values to x and uh, find the coefficients a b c let's say x is 1 x is 1 if x is 1 left hand side becomes 0 this part becomes 0 and this part becomes 0 so we have a times 6 times minus 2 so this implies that a is 0 of course okay so if you give another arbitrary value to x like 3 for instance this term becomes 0 this term becomes 0 so this term is 6 9 minus 3 is 6 okay Six times six is equal to 
and of course a is zero we found before this is zero uh, since x is three this is zero three minus one is two c times two times three plus five is eight okay is eight so c is equal to three over eight three over eight uh, okay if you, you now since we have two coefficients a and c it is very easy to find b which is 5 over 8 5 over 8 so if you just plug all these values here you, you will find the decomposition for this function okay is the first example for the first case let's look at case 2 suppose that denominator contains ax plus b to the power m that is ax plus b is repeated m times m times okay uh, the, uh, so the decomposition for this for this factor will be a1 over ax plus b a2 over ax plus b square and finally am over ax plus b to the power m let's look at the question here and find the decomposition for the given function x squared minus 1 over x minus 2 times x plus 1 cube is equal to since we have a f we have two factors one of them is a simple one x minus 2 and we have we do not have a power for this factor we should write a over x minus 2 be careful about the second factor the power of second factor is 3 so we have to write b over x plus 1 continue c over x plus 1 square since the power is 3 I go one more step d over x plus 1 cube okay if you make denominators equal to each other you will find uh, the coefficients a b c d okay and the answer for this okay if you make denominators equal to each other let me slightly change this, change this question I write 2 instead of 1 and continue to solve the problem x square minus 2 is equal to a times x plus 1 cube x plus 1 cube plus b times x minus 2 x plus 1 square and finally c x minus 2 x minus x plus 1 x plus 1 and finally d times x minus 2 okay I want to give some arbitrary values to the variable x for instance you let me give the point the value 1 the value 1 and 0 but we are free to give any values okay why do I, pre I, do, uh, I prefer to give these values if I give 0 uh, the calculation will be very easy if I give 1 the calculation also be, will be very easy you are free to use minus one okay it's also good to have some small numbers in the calculations so if I give one I have minus two I have minus one on the left hand side minus one on the left hand side and on the right hand side 8a minus 4b minus 4b minus 2c minus d okay in the second if you give 0 you have minus 2 on the left hand side this is equal to a minus 2b 2b minus 2c minus 2d okay by this we have okay we have two uh, equations okay 
Now I think we need more uh, information to find the coefficients. Let's give uh, x equals uh, 2 and x equals uh, minus 1 also. If I give 2 and minus 1, I get 2 is equal to 27a. Here a becomes 2 over 27. If I give minus 1, these two terms, these three terms become 0. And finally, I have minus 1 is equal to minus 3d, minus 3d, then d becomes 1 over 3. Okay? If I use the values of a and d, a and d, in these equalities, I have 4b, 4b plus 2c is equal to 34 over 27 from the second 2b plus 2c is equal to 38 over 27 okay if you look at these two equalities you will easily find b and c which are minus 2 divided by 27 and 7 divided by 9 okay so we have all these coefficients a b c d so if you use all this information in this formula you will easily find the composition for the given question this is case 2 case 3 the denominator is a product of irreducible factors some being repeated if you uh, look at the denominator of this problem you see that we have x square we have x square plus 1 plus x uh, and the term x square plus x plus 1 is repeated since the power is 3 uh, and uh, x square plus x plus 1 is not reducible so it's not possible to write this expression uh, uh, by multiplication of uh, two or three functions it is irreducible factor okay so how do we have how do we find the decomposition for this kind of questions uh, so let me again write down this rational function okay x square plus x plus one cube is equal to since we have x square in denominator okay since the power of uh, x is at most 2 uh, I have to write ax plus b ax plus b if you have x cube plus uh, x plus a constant for instance you have to write ax square plus bx plus c in numerator instead of ax plus b Divi over divided by x square plus x square b uh, x, x square plus x square x square plus x plus 1 sorry since the power is repeated since the power is repeated the power is 3 I continue to I use ab so we have cx plus d divided by x square plus x plus 1 square plus e x plus f divided by x square plus x plus 1 again since the power is 3 I have to go to get to catch the power 3 okay the power is 1 here the power is 2 and finally the power is 3 so this is this is another case uh, if you pick four different values uh, for x to get a system of four equations which uh, can be solved uh, you can get the answer okay i skip the proof i skip the solution for this problem 
and continue to have uh, a general case if, uh, the, if the denominator is a mixture of uh, all cases. Uh, if you have uh, a function, a rational function, something like this. Okay? Uh, so if you have something like this, uh, 2x, then, then, let's look at uh, the denominator very carefully. Uh, the term x plus 1 is repeated, uh, and the term x squared plus x plus 1 is also repeated. Uh, and uh, the term x squared plus x plus 1 is also not reducible. Okay, so we have uh, a over x minus 1 for the second term, for the second term, x minus 1, plus, since x minus 1 is repeated, b over x minus 1 squared. Okay, since the power is 3, so it's enough. Uh, what about uh, the second, the first term of denominator? Uh, a, B, C, X plus D. Since uh, X squared plus X plus 1 is irreducible, uh, and the power uh, of X is at most 2, I should write C, X plus D. If the power of uh, X in denominator is at most 3, in this case, I write I should write c x squared plus d x plus f. If the power of uh, x in denominator is uh, five, for instance, at most, then I have to write c x to the power five plus uh, the rest. Okay, d x to the power four plus, uh, and I continue to write uh, the coefficients for other x terms. Uh, and uh, x squared plus x plus 1 is also repeated in this question. So I continue to write e x plus uh, f divided by x squared plus x plus 1 squared first power, second power and g x plus k divided by x squared plus x plus 1 squared cube, sorry, cube okay